representing the United States of America, Tiger Woods. <laughs> representing Europe, John Ram. Tiger Woods has now played 56 the team, matches the USA. in the Ryder Cup. He's lost 20 of them. He's played 29 with a partner, and he's lost 19 of them. But in singles, he's a different beast altogether. Only one defeat in seven. What does today hold for Tiger Woods? Again. On the tee, Europe. And it's three wood yesterday for Raman in the water, just an iron today. Played a lot of match play golf. He was in the Spanish amateur team as a 14 year old. Mr. Dustin Johnson in the final of the world match play in 2017. Well, there's not a man in the 24 that won't breathe a massive sigh of relief to hit that fairway today. There's the two tee shots on the first. Warren Humphreys has got the pleasure of watching Woods and Ram. That was a long way down from Ram, Warren, wasn't it? Well, it's huge. It's nearly 300 yards he's hit that iron, but first to go is Tiger. And let me tell you, that wind is freshening all the time. Strong behind Tiger here, 156. Got to carry the water. Simpson straight over the flag, but just about a club too much. The guy's not wanting to mess with that left hand water early on. The noise, let me tell you, when the cheer goes up, it's like a sonic boom. It's absolutely erupts the place and it almost sends a, a, a wave a ripple wave quite hard for the players to concentrate that's why Ram's taking an extra few seconds but with this strong wind behind it's really hard to actually judge how this ball's going to fly in the air so you've got to actually have a little bit more give it a bit more 129 Come on, Justin. Come on, Justin. Much calmer today, John Rahm. Now, Tiger at the first, long putt here, Warren. Gosh, it's so hard to hear. <laughs> it's 45 feet. Maybe it's a good 15 paces, Tiger paced out, and he's got a lot of break from left to right. Has to make it because he's got to think. Ram will hold. And it's a good putt. That's a good three feet here, a good three feet for Ram. And there is a little bit of movement from right to left, but he knows if he hits it too hard, it will stay up on that top side. So when the nerves are really rattling around, got to control those deft putt. Right in the middle, brilliant. John Ram, one up on Tiger Woods.
A lot of green to work with. He's got to aim left as he comes down the slope here, Ram. Much better position than where Tiger is. Delicious. Fantastic, Ram. No fist pumping either. It's just, I think Thomas has had a word with him. Woods for the half at the second. Digging into this, squirting it left to right. What is he like? <laughs> it's like Garcia all those years ago. I think he was expecting it to jump. And he's OK, oh, that's going to be a tricky one. He's very little green over the trap there, but he is Tiger. John Ram. One up on Tiger, big chance here. Got the plan to Tiger, 40, 50 yards short. Ram on the green. Excellent stuff. Not a pin to take on. You can see a little room there is there. You've got to come over a tree as well. It's a great shot for Ram. Tiger 10 feet for four. Speed's good. How's the line? Oh, wonderful try from John Rahm. Tiger for birdie. Rahm's not been conceded. You can see the marker there. Brilliant putt from Tiger. Giving it to John Rahm. It's not a particularly long putt, but you know what? In match play, if it's within the rules, the and you can get under your opponent's skin, by all means do it. It's a psychological battle as well as a technical. do was hack it out from there. It was absolutely buried on the downslope. A huge advantage here, Warren. Big advantage because he's only got 189 on a slight upslope in the semi. And the wind up here has just slightly died. We're in a sort of a hollow, but it is from the left. He'll play a little longer uphill. Get it, John! Come on, back there. Go. Yeah, Come on, back. Come on. Saw Tiger Woods out of that really long rough on the back in play to here. John Rum is on the green. So Tiger will need an up and down, and he's given himself a great chance. Beautifully played pitch there from Tiger Woods. Long birdie putt for John Rahm to win the hole against Tiger Woods, who still has the best part of four feet to make a par four. Oh, and he's raced it by. They're about the same distance now, both putting for four. Not what John Rahm wanted there. T-shot from Tiger, who's, as Warren said, he's, he's moving quite gingerly. Come on, Tiger. Come on, Tiger. Come on, Tiger. 
Well, the wind on the fifth just seems to have turned a little, so it's just a very slight zephyr into his face. 148. Get Pin on the front. Get up a little. Get up a little. Gorgeous shot. Stunning shot. I wouldn't be surprised if it doesn't come out after this event that he's been in a lot of pain, this man. Really, I just, he's got that look about him. I mean, here's a guy who won a US Open with a broken leg. He didn't complain about it at all. Didn't mention it until, you know, down the road. Well, beautiful tee shot from Ram. He's left himself 121, so just a little gap, which a field shot coming in. Has to go a little long. This man's been putting for the first three holes. You'd think he's got a great chance because there's very little break in this putt. Warren is round about eight feet behind the hole. Is that where he finished? He's just, yeah, he's just okay. inside where Tiger's putting. There'll be a huge roar around this green if this goes in. There's a lot of American supporters around this green. It's about eight or nine feet here for Ram to try and salvage the half. He'd be kicking himself if he misses this because really he had the opportunity on the last hole to win it. Could have put some pressure on Tiger with a decent second and now he's trying to salvage just a half. Big putt. Oh, uses all of the hope. And it's in, and it has got him fired up. Tiger's birdie part of the sixth. Long way across this sixth green. It will get to about there and pick up some speed and start turning left to right towards the hole. That's a perfect line for Tiger Woods. Shake of the head, though, because he knows that that one won't be conceded for his part. John Rahm to win the hole on the sixth. Oh, and it looked like it couldn't miss. Tiger Woods for the half of the hole on the sixth. Already one down. He can't afford to be missing putts like this. Yep, right in the middle for Tiger Woods. Ram remains one up. Ram safely down the difficult seventh fairway. This is Woods. Left, no, no shout of four. This is dangerous, bad. Tigers had to hack out, which means he'll have to play after Ram. 186 from the top of the hill. Brilliant shot from Ram. I'm sure Tiger was one of his heroes growing up. What a thrill for him to be out there playing against him today. Third shot into the seventh for Tiger Woods. Horrible drive. He knocked it out to here. You can see John Ram's ball behind the flag. Going to be Tiger to putt first. A lot of swing on the putt here for Tiger. He's aiming a long way left of the hole. And these greens considerably quicker than they've been for the first two days. Not that quick. That'll be a gimme now for John Ram. 
And he will go two up on the great man. Oh, he's not conceding. He was inside on his two putts for the hole. Anyway, just take your time, John. Great camera angle to see the break that our uncle's commentator Warren was talking about. Aiming a long way left of the hole. Did that one, so John Ram wins the seventh, goes two up on Tiger Woods. Over to the par three eighth tee. John Ram, two up against the great Tiger Woods. This one started a long way left of the green. Yep, just hang on to the back left-hand corner there for John Rum. Tiger pin, pin back left. Back right, sorry, Rum's back left. He doesn't like it. And that is not the place to miss this eighth green. It's a very difficult chip from down there. It's a bit speedy. And that's Ram's marker, virtually stone dead, about a foot left of the pin. Well, Tiger's taken an awful long time over this putt for a half. He's not conceded the putt to Ram, but Ram is so close you can't envisage him missing. And really, the putts around these holes, they're so tricky to read. They're very subtle borrows. And although this, you would think, would come from right to left, Ram straightened at the end. So he knows if he hits this too hard, it could well stay out on the top side. Solid putt from Tiger. Never really let anyone down in that department. Putt conceded to Ram, so Ram remains two up. And the great Tiger Woods, who's we all team in the same. He's under a bit of stress. Something's hurting. He's got his waterproofs on. It's warm out there. John Ram also electing to just play the knife tee shot with an iron. Watching it anxiously, I think this might be heading down the right side of the fairway. Oh, generous bounce for John Rom. Great tee shot from Tiger, aggressive. Just got over the up slope on the down slope. 288 left up to the ninth for Tiger Woods. <laughs> you just have to laugh at how good some golf shots are. That is just top draw from Tiger Woods. And if he is struggling with a back problem, or he's feeling a little bit tired, he's summoned the strength to. Well, we're spoiled with golf shots from Tiger Woods like this over the years. I'm sure this will be one of those shots that will be added to some of the best in Tiger Woods' career. <laughs> Look how perfect that is. John Ram, third at the par five ninth. Two up at Woods. There's his touch. <laughs> Close up. The facial expression told you that. Okay, look, he can hold it from there. There's a sight we've rarely seen this week an empty stand. Only for a little while, though.
Well, there's a hill that is absolutely packed surrounding this green here, and they will erupt if Tiger holds this for an eagle, and he's certainly got a great chance because there's so little movement in this. He has had pretty good touch so far today. He's had a gentle touch. He's trying to drop everything at dead pace. Well, there it is. Vintage, vintage Tiger Woods. What an eagle that is. Man. And finally, a little bit... A little bit of emotion there. Well, they've almost left themselves in between clubs here because Tiger's got 138 to the flag, but it plays four uphill, so he's going to play 142. Wind is across, not really helping him, and it would be a very big wedge. It's like a, almost in a way for these guys, too much for an easy nine, so. Awkward pin with this flag over on the left side. Plenty of room behind, so the longer club you would think would be ideal. Just four yards nearer for Ram. Got to be a little bit more aggressive. Stayed and hold his putt on the last green, which makes you think he's trying to play medal play mentally. Down the hill, right to left. To settle a little. Go, big cat. Tiger Woods birdie putt up the hill at 10 to get back on level terms with John Rahm. Well, right in the middle and short for Tiger. Didn't think Rama's touch would be given. Why would you when you won down? Oh, that's why. Well, he's got an eight iron in his hand here, Tiger. Two ways to go at the hole. A little bit left or long. Screw it back down the slope. Ooh. Oh. That is going to be mega swift. Europe up in six, the USA up in five, all square and one, the projected score still very much in Europe's favour. I love it. Straight big nine? Absolutely, let's do it. He hit a stock one just yep. up there. Yeah, I love it. Warmer, it is helping. It is, it's definitely got a little bit of help in it. I think that big, just a big nine you can just put in camera. Yeah, yeah. Just left of it. That's it. <coughs> One sixty-five to the hole. I don't suppose Ram was looking in Tiger's bag. You've got to feel that he needs one less than Tiger hit. You don't want to stay up on the top level where Woods has hit it. Leave yourself a very fast putt. Get it off! Yeah. Decided the wind was helping a little. And they've got it spot on, right over the flag. John Ramos had Adam Hayes in the bag since he turned pro, and that's only a couple of years ago, and between them they got it right there. Massive cheers for Tiger as he came onto the green, as for John Rahm, but Tiger certainly has the tougher part of the two here, not only because of the length, but the speed this ball's going to come down the hill. Breaks a fair amount from his left, so getting pace and line together. Tough call. Well, I thought it was going to catch some of the hole there, Tony. It looked so good for so long. So this one also outside the left edge, down the hill.
won't be given either. Tiger Woods first to play his second shot of the 12th to this tough pin on the back left hand side. One down to John Rahm. shot from Tiger Woods. He really is back to his best, isn't he, Tony? He's hit some amazing shots today in this match. John Rahm from the bunker now on 12. Tiger Woods up on the green, pretty close with his approach. Wow. Sounds like a nice clean contact. Very good. Takes a bit of brute strength to be able to do that. Has missed his putt, so Tiger Woods to win the 12th and get it back to all square. He was two down after eight holes, he's all square after 12. Ram at 13. Perfect tee shot, perfect angle. Pretty good. He likes it. Uh, oh, well. Tell you what, that's Come a tough shot. flag. That's not Come bad on. at all. Third shot for Tiger Woods, all square with John Rahm. We've already seen him hit a couple of shorter shots into the greens to perfection today. 101 yards to go. Come up a little bit short. Not sure whose putt's going to be first there. Tiger Woods putt for par on 13. We know that John Rahm's slightly closer than this for a birdie. Oh, and not quite for Tiger Woods, so John Rahm will probably be conceded the hole. At worst, he'll have two putts for the win. Yeah, no problems for John Rump. He got two, use them. 13 holes completed. John Rump goes one up on Tiger Woods. Long way back, third shot. We're not sure where Rump is. He's 169 here to go. It's a long way, but he is Tiger Woods. It's OK, it's not great. That's gone off. Crowd are urging it to run on. <laughs> I have to say so am I, but what, what can you do, eh? Huge putt for John Rahm to double his lead against Tiger Woods. It'll be a huge cheer. Stay one down, four to play. Crucial. Here's Tiger. It's, it's left, it's left. That was exactly the same putt that he missed with Molinari those years ago in the final singles. Ram goes two up. Not easy with this breeze that keeps puffing up and down, especially with a lofty club in your hand. Spotted it right at the start, a much more camera focused John Ram we're seeing today. He was hugely excited on day one, as you would expect. But can he go on and complete the job against the resurgent Tiger Woods? He won the Tour Championship just a week ago. Well, it's an amazing shot Ram hit him because he drilled it in very low. He must have taken a lot of club there, knocked it down, really didn't get the ball up in the air at all. Tiger, he looks down the ball, actually see his name stamped on the ball. 
capital letters. Be there, just no. Now, now it's co yeah, now it's coming back across, slightly in if it's drawn into exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah, you got it. There was a little backstop behind where Ram was hit, which he could pitch it and try and suck the ball back, but in this wind off the left, whew, tough. Needs one of his super best here. Come on, Tiger! Come on, Tiger! <laughs> oh, oh. Not good enough, I'm afraid, and he knows it. Tell you, there's a lot of tension around this uh, this area. I don't know what it's like in the box. Oh, trust me, you can cut the air with a knife. <laughs> I think Thomas has done a great job with the singles. Out. He's kept a couple of strong players in those last five, four or five groups. Whereas the Americans, obviously, four points behind, had to go very heavy early on. Now Woods, two down. We'll follow it all the way down. I don't think it's going to reach, is it? No, it's gone left anyway. It doesn't matter if it reaches, it's not going in. So a chance for John Ram. Ticklish putt here for Ram because he's down the slope. Green's absolutely perfect and there's very little in this. Just a hair from the left. Good one to make. It's okay, two up, three to play, and that's fine, John. We'd have taken that this morning. 16. Frightening pin position. It's the last day pin position for the French Open. 163, wind off the left and into them. <laughs> Ooh, it's a bit pale out. The further it gets down that slope, the easier it would be. It's a long way from the hole. Tiger has to go out at 163. Can't afford to go Dormy down with a half. Terrific shot. Did we expect anything else from Tiger Woods? Don't think so. 30 feet, certainly got about a foot swing from left to right. Uphill. So he's got to be aggressive, but with the nurse, this is not an easy one to lay dead. Well, if anything's going to give you sweaty palms, that's it right there. Oh my. He's got a worried look on his face, Tiger, but he's got a wonderful opportunity here. Just a multitude in the crowd, and it's amazing how quiet they go. We know the roars they can make when a player holds a putt, but it's so different when a player is just about to make a putt. Again, this putt's going to swing quite a bit, quite significant from left to right. It's not one of those that he can just rattle at the hole, take something out of it, hit it with some steam. It's a good sort of cup left of the hole. Now John Ram for a vital half to stay two up and two to play. Making his Ryder Cup debut. Still just 23 years old. Originally from Barica in Spain. Could hardly speak English when he arrived at college in the States. Now the world number eight.
That's a win for Tiger. Rom still remains one up two to play against the former world number one and probably the greatest player that ever lived. Also, it's quite it's always difficult to align yourself up on the hole. Fairway just sits a little further right than the tee aims. Downwind off the right. So even down the right side, it's a very fast fairway as well. That's not clever. No, the, the crowd loved it. Tiger hates it. And Europe loves it. Rum down to the plane. He's in the rough. So John Rum. That was a nervy putt in the last. But he's 23 years of age. It's, uh, he's never been so nervous since his first kiss. Well, he's been very impressive today. I'd have to say, Sam, has been very controlled. But here, he might be able to use some of his power if he can unleash it, get it down the right-hand side. It will chase and run. Got to try and keep in control. When he's in control. And his rhythm is good. He hits it straight. I think he loves it. I think he loves it. Oh, and why wouldn't you go on? Keep going, my son. Fantastic. Stay in the south. Stay there. Yeah. Little kiss off the edge there at the end. Just put it back on the fairway. That is enormous. Tiger in trouble. He's one down. Huge chance there for John Ram. 356 yard drive for John Ram. And Tiger Woods off the fairway. You have to hand it to Tiger because he's really not been in this match the entire way round because this is where he's played most of his golf from in the rough and he's had to try and hack it out. He might be able to trundle this one on the green using the hard ground and the wind behind. But he's got to muscle it. A little unlucky, just caught the upslope there for Tiger, but. Again, it's a huge advantage for John Ram. Just a sand wedge or a wedge in his hand. He's one up, and there's only one more hole after this. John Ram won the opening hole against Tiger Woods, and he's never been behind. He was brought back to all square at the 12th, but immediately went ahead again at 13. Well, he's only won 26. The only thing I hope, but he doesn't, in a way, go straight at the hole. Ball just a little bit above his feet. You cannot afford to pull this one away left. A lot of green right. Needs a lot of height, but he only got a sand iron in his hand. In the hole! Yeah. It's now almost stone dead. John Ram, you little Spanish beauty. Much calmer, Diggy. Absolutely, Sam. You spotted it right at the start of the day. He may not be too calm in a little while. But after missing the putt on the last, that's a magnificent shot. And Thomas keeping the emotions under wraps, as captains have to do. What a shot, Tony. He just took dead aim. You know, we're, we're subconsciously just worrying that he hits it too far left. For his sake, and I mean, he just takes dead and what, what I mean, a fantastic shot. Tiger now will have to chip this in. Now, Ram to win. That's for two and one victory. Get you up to 12 and a half. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Now he's excited. Oh, now the he's excited. <laughs> oh, the oh. emotion comes pouring out of John Ram. Absolutely sensational. The youngest man on either team. 
Warm words of congratulation from Tiger Woods. It's good to see how disappointed must Tiger be. Played four, lost four in this 2018 Ryder Cup. And John Ram, on his Ryder Cup debut, has taken down the Tiger. Worth another look, watch the crowd, watch the crowd. Only the second singles Tiger Woods has ever lost. The first time, obviously, he's been even close to losing four out of four. At this point, is sadly not about the Tiger, it's about John Ram. What I love, Doogie, is he's absolutely berserk with his rejoicing, but as soon as Tiger came over, as a mark of respect, he just calmed it, calmed it down, shook his hand, because Tiger will have been one of this guy's heroes from the day he started playing golf. To watch another Ryder Cup video, click here, and to subscribe, click here.